All right, so let me now wrap up and we'll take a break. I, I want to now get to the bottom line, which is performance. What does this mean for investors? And let me show you some numbers. So here are the annualized means, volatilities, and sharp ratios, the ratio of ex expected return to standard deviation, for various different uh, five-year periods, as well as for longer sample periods. And I'm comparing the stock market as a whole, the tech sector, the pharma sector, and biotech. So let's just take a look at, um, you know, for the entire sample period from 1930 to 2015. During that entire period, the stock market earned 9% on average every year. The tech sector earned 11% on average every year. The pharma sector, 13%. So this is one of the reasons why people are so interested in pharma. With all of its problems, all of its challenges, it is a good business. However, there's risk. So the volatility of the market is about 17% during this time period. The volatility of the tech sector, 22%. But look at this, the pharma volatility, 18%. It's actually pretty close to the market. It's pretty close to the market, but it's got a higher expected return. So the sharp ratio of the pharma industry is 0.53, which is quite a bit higher than either the tech sector or the stock market. That's why investors love pharma. It's a good investment. Now let me take a look at biotech. And again, the results are not going to surprise you. So biotech is only since 1980, right? So the biotech average return from 1980 to 2015 is zero. Now again, you might say that that's unfair. It doesn't have Amgen, doesn't have Gilead, but it's zero. Uh, the volatility, on the other hand, for the biotech sector is about 30%. So you're getting a lot of risk for no return. So the sharp ratio is essentially zero. However, you know, that's taking it from 1980 to 2015. That's a ridiculously long time period where nothing, nothing is the same. The 19, 1980 was before the human genome was sequenced. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how outdated it is. Let's look at the last five years. The last five years, the biotech sector has posted a 17% compound annual return with the volatility of its high of 0.31, but the sharp ratio is 0.68, which is pretty good until you see that the pharma sharp ratio is 1.44. This goes back to the narrative that I started with at the beginning of the class. Pharma is getting out of early stage R&D. They're letting the biotech sector do that, and they're coming in at the later stage, and guess what, it's working. Their sharp ratio is fantastic. They're doing much better than that lost decade between the late 1990s and the, uh, the 2010 period. So um, the bottom line, when you calculate the CAPM alpha of how these companies are doing, um, the pharma sector uh, has a fantastic alpha of um, something like 4% uh, per year, which is, a, that's a big alpha, a big excess return above and beyond its beta risk. Uh, if you look at uh, the tech sector, that alpha is only 1.8% per year above and beyond the risk. Um, and of course, if you look at the entire history of the biotech industry, it looks terrible. But over the course of the last five years, the biotech sector has put a, an alpha of 4.6%, of which actually trounces the tech sector and is about half the size of the pharma industry. So in terms of performance, biotech has really changed. I think it's reached an inflection point where it's matured. And remember, these are just public companies. I haven't even talked about the private sector, which is a whole different game, and a lot of really interesting things are going to be happening there.